So here at MITx, we are launching more than 20 new courses every year. We've got more than 30 in development. So I thought I would start by telling you about three brand new courses that I think are really neat. The first one I'll mention is called Engineering the Space Shuttle. It's a unique MOOC developed by Jeff Hoffman, professor in our Aero Astro Department. And it's built around a series of interviews that Jeff did many years ago, actually, with the people who actually engineered, designed, built the space shuttle. It has a policy component to it, it has a history component to it, and an engineering component to it, and you will hear through Jeff from the people who actually did it. The second one I'll mention is called Visualizing Imperialism in the Philippines, taught by Chris Capazzola from our history department. It focuses on a moment in time when the United States was becoming an imperialist power in the Philippines, and it explores this moment in history using images. Some of them are photographs, some of them are cartoons, political cartoons, and what Chris does is to explore this moment in time, this period of history, starting from those images. The third example that I'll mention is Barton Zwiebach's third semester of his quantum mechanics series. Here at MIT, we're, I believe, unique in having a three-semester undergrad sequence in quantum mechanics, and Professor Zwiebach from the physics department has now built three MOOCs that correspond to all three parts of this sequence. And this naturally leads me into a new development that we are piloting this fall, although I will say our pilot is not quantum mechanics. But if you think of quantum mechanics as an example, that's a spot where we think at MIT, through our online courses, we can offer something that would be a great addition to the education of many undergraduates at many, many other universities because it's some aspect of what we do that would be complementary to what students at many other universities get. And that's the idea behind what we're calling our X minor. A three course sequence, three online courses at the intermediate or advanced undergrad level that leads to an X minor credential, which we think will be a way for students at many, many universities to add a little bit of extra from MIT to their education at the university where they're a student. Our first X minor, which we will be piloting this fall, will be the MIT XX minor in materials for electronic, optical, and magnetic devices coming from our Department of Material Science and Engineering. The new capability that I want to tell you about represents a new opportunity for you. We're calling it the MIT Open Learning Library, and it's running right now in its prototype phase. So we'd love for you to have a look, give us feedback, help us as we build this prototype up into the Open Learning Library that we imagine. So what is the Open Learning Library? Well, it's a place where you can have access to a broad sweep of content, of learning opportunities, completely free, completely open, available all the time. You can learn at your own pace. And in that way, it's exactly like MIT's open courseware. But much of the content in the Open Learning Library will come from MITx. It will come from our archive courses, which we'll be now sharing with the world through the Open Learning Library. You can come to a course or a module in the Open Learning Library, no start dates, no end dates, learn at your own pace. You'll be able to learn from the segmented videos that you're used to from MITx, learn from the interactive online problems that you're used to from MITx, and you'll be able to track your progress. If you come to Open Learning Library and you do the first three problem sets this week, when you come back next week, you'll be able to start with problem set four. So the most important way that you can support MITx is by letting it support you. Take our courses. Let them spark your curiosity. Let them advance your education. Let them open new doors for you. And as you're doing that, please tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your coworkers, spread the word, because we want more people learning from MITx courses the way that you already are. And please give us your feedback. Tell us how we can make the courses better. That's incredibly helpful to us as we build new courses and as we rerun the ones that we've already built. Now, as you finish a course, you can volunteer to be a community TA the next time the course runs. And first of all, that's a great way to support MITx and to contribute to the community of learners. And second of all, the secret is you'll learn the material even better the second time if you serve as a community TA. And last, we would very much appreciate a donation because it's donations from people like you 
that allow us to continue creating new courses, running the courses that you've already seen, taking the knowledge and learning and perspective from the MIT classroom and through MITx, sharing it with a global audience of learners like you. Thank <laughs> you.